Hey, welcome to Board Game Casual and my top five board game accessory purchases of 2023. These are my favorite board game related accessories and upgrades that I bought this year. Now I know 2023 isn't over yet, but I figured it would be good to get this video out before the holidays in case anyone is looking for gift ideas for someone or even something for themselves. And any board game related purchases I make from here on out will count towards next year's list. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna start things off with an honorable mention, partly because I'm not sure if this technically qualifies as a board game accessory but I couldn't go without mentioning it as it's both literally and figuratively my biggest board game related purchase this year. And that's my new larger game shelf. Earlier this year, I finally upgraded my overloaded three cube by four cube Ikea Calyx game shelf to a pair of four by two Calyx shelves, each with an additional one by two stacked on top essentially making a five by four, giving me a ton more space for games. I also opted for the new Ikea metal bases that they're making for the Calyxes. They have a lot of different colors. I got mine in white because I like that contrast. I love how they look. I love how they add stability and how it elevates the game shelf off the ground. I'm also really glad I went with two separate shelves instead of one big one. It makes them much more modular if I need to move them around. It's so much nicer having a bigger shelf for games. I have more flexibility to organize my games. I don't have to double park them into cubes and, and have them too crammed. And if you're interested in how I connected multiple Calyx shelves together using the stock mounting brackets, be sure to check that video out on the channel. I've got the link down in the description. That's my honorable mention, my new larger game shelf. Now, onto the list. Okay, number five on my best board game accessory purchases this year are the coin capsules I got for Ready, Set, Bet. This was my first time using coin capsules in a game, and I'm sold. I use them on the cardboard betting tokens, and they give them such a chunkier, weightier, more tactile feel. Especially in Ready, Set, Bet, where everyone is clutching their betting tokens, shaking them in their hands with excitement, and frantically slamming them onto the betting spaces. You really need something a little beefier that can hold up to wear and tear and won't go flying off the board. The value they give for the cost is also the highest of the items on this list. These things are dirt cheap. I think you can get a set of 100 for five to eight bucks. It's by far the easiest and cheapest way to upgrade cardboard tokens. It also preserves the original game art if you're someone who just doesn't feel right about bringing generic third-party components into a game. So it's a great upgrade while keeping the same look. Now, part of me does feel a little guilty for bringing more plastic into the world, but at least I'll be keeping these things around for as long as I have the game. I can totally see why coin capsules are so popular with bag building games. In fact, I need to see if they make square ones that I can get for my copy of Blitzkrieg. For the price, these things are an awesome upgrade. That's my number five, coin capsules, which I bought for Ready, Set, Bet. The number four best accessory purchase I made in 2023 is a set of Roxley Iron Clays. These are a nice set of poker chip style uh, game counters or game coins. They have a really nice weight and feel and are just so satisfying to hold and stack. They have a design which is very board game friendly. So rather than having a generic casino looking poker chip that looks out of place, the iron clays have a stylized look that just fits in better with board games. They look like they belong. So no matter which game you have on the table, instead of using the in-game cardboard money tokens, you can substitute in the iron clays, which just elevates the experience. Personally, I really love the hundred coin. That gold color just fits in perfect. I've been using these religiously with Ready, Set, Bet. I mean, for a betting game like that, you've got to have that poker chip feel. And also with Camel Up, I made a whole video on how much I hate those tiny plastic coins, and playing with the iron clays is so much better. 
These are great to have on the shelf. You can pull them out for any game. Even games that don't use tokens and, and have a point counter, you might find it easier to use the iron clays to keep track instead. Now the one thing that keeps these from being higher on the list is the price. These things aren't cheap. For the price of a 200 count set, you could probably buy two or three new games instead. Especially compared to a standard set of clay poker chips that you can get for a fraction of the price. But there really isn't anything that looks like these. In fact, I'm surprised other manufacturers aren't jumping on board and making more medieval board game looking poker chips. The other problem is that these are hard to find right now. My understanding is that Roxley is in the process of switching to a new manufacturer. So hopefully it's only a matter of time before they'll have these in stock again. Honestly, I wouldn't mind picking up another set Better yet, just more ones and fives. In Ready, Set, Bet, for example, there's so much turnover in the wins and losses, it doesn't make sense to do a lot of trading up mid-game, and it's easier to just use a lot of ones and fives. So hopefully these will be back in stock soon. They are a really nice accessory to have on your game shelf. That was my number four, Roxley Iron Clays. My number three and number two honestly could be interchangeable. I kept going back and forth for which one should be in what position. Ultimately though I decided my number three are the Metal Fantasy Dragon Coins that I bought for Champions of Midgard and Flamecraft. As much as I love the Iron Clays and how universal they are to pull out with any game, sometimes I just want some cheap metal coins that I can throw directly into the box, especially if it's a game that doesn't have a lot of different denominations. I took a chance on these dragon coins from Amazon in September, and man, am I impressed. I love the size and the weight of these coins. They're a bit bigger than a US quarter. They feel awesome to the touch and have a great level of detail. Some generic coins can look kind of cheesy, you know, like a kid's toy, but these things look great, like they were made for board games. Now, Flamecraft, of course, has an official metal coin that they sell as an upgrade. But as cool as those coins look, they sell for more than I paid for the game itself during the Nerds Day sale. And for the same price, I got enough of these fantasy dragon coins for Flamecraft, Champions of Midgard, which takes three times as many coins as Flamecraft, and I still have 20 coins left over for another game. If you're looking for a good fantasy style coin at roughly 24 cents a coin, I can't recommend these enough. I'm really happy with my purchase, which is why they're my number three. Along the same lines as my number three, my number two, are the Metal Pirate Gold Doubloon style coins I bought as an upgrade for Lost Ruins of Arnak. Now, if you were to take all context out of the picture and just hold out the dragon coins and the doubloons and ask me which coin I like better as a coin, I'd say the dragon coins. So why did I rate these doubloons higher on my list? It's because of how well they fit into Lost Ruins of Arnak and how much joy they bring me as an upgrade for that game. I love Lost Ruins of Arnak. It's probably my favorite game that I was introduced to last year. And man, these coins fit in so well in terms of size and theme. I just get so excited to see these things on the game board and how pleasing it makes the experience. Gold plays a big role in this game and is also worth points at the end of the game. So there's a lot of acquiring gold and spending gold and passing gold around and these coins just fit. It's so much more exciting to see these ancient looking gold pieces than the cardboard tokens and really sucks you into that Indiana Jones exploration kind of experience. I love it. And again, these were a nice cheap upgrade off of Amazon. I took a bunch of the coins to put into my copy of Arnak. I grabbed a bunch to gift uh, as a set to a friend for his copy of Arnak. And I still have a bunch left over for another game. If you like Lost Ruins of Arnak, I can't recommend these coins enough. My number two, these gold pirate doubloons from Amazon. All right, here we are. We've made it to my number one board game accessory purchase of 2023. And let me say, it wasn't even a question what would be my number one. It was my favorite purchase this year by a long shot. 
Some of you who watch the channel may already have a guess for what it is. In my original review, I stated, this is one of the best gaming purchases I've ever made. And that still holds true. Number one on my list is the cheap Feltector's neoprene game mat that I purchased on Amazon. I still can't believe it took me this long to get a game mat for my table. It makes the overall board game experience so much better. First and foremost, it makes it so much easier to pick up cards and other components than trying to pick them up off of a hard surface. It's great for rolling dice, shuffling, even just resting your arms on. It keeps things from sliding around, helps absorb table vibrations, and muffles uh, excess component noise. I love the way it looks and how the color makes the game components pop. And I even like the case and how easy it is to roll it up and store it. Since buying this game mat, I've never played a game at home without it. If you don't have a fancy game table with a sunken play surface and you're still just playing board games on a bare table, do yourself a favor and get a neoprene game mat. I held out for so long thinking my only option was to order an expensive custom made mat. But let me tell you, the cheap ones on Amazon are great. I took a chance on this brand simply because it came in the width I needed for my table. But there's a bunch of different brands and sizes on Amazon. I've seen them listed under game mats, mahjong mats, poker mats, dominoes. Just make sure to get one that's neoprene with a grippy rubber bottom. I got this one for only 40 something bucks and it elevates any game I put on the table. This is by far my favorite board game accessory that I've ever purchased. There you have it my top five board game accessory purchases of 2023. If you're interested in seeing more about any of these items, I have detailed video reviews for each one on the channel. So be sure to check them out. If you haven't already, I put the links down in the description. I'm always on the lookout for clever board game accessories and especially cheap alternative upgrades. So if you bought something recently that's particularly awesome, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what your best accessory purchases were this year. Thanks so much for watching. Shout out to everyone who's been liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.